Hello everyone, how are you? Before we create the animation of the airplane project, we will make in this lesson a brief presentation of the animation process with Blender. We call animations the movies generated with techniques that create the illusion of movement, such as stop motion, traditional animation, and digital animation. As in a conventional movie, an animation movie consists of a sequence of images that, when played back at a certain speed, create the illusion of movement. Each image of a conventional movie or animation is called a frame. An animation can be made with different frame rates per second, but a widely used rate is 24 fps. This means that for every second of animation, the video displays 24 images. So, in order to create one second of animation using the traditional animation technique, the animator usually needs to create 24 different drawings. In digital animation, we can use a feature called keyframe. A keyframe is a special type of frame that stores the properties of the elements being animated at any given time. And when two keyframes are created at different moments of time with different values for these properties, the computer is able to interpolate the difference between them, generating the animation automatically. Now let's see how to create a simple animation in Blender. To create a keyframe for a particular object, first we must have it selected. And then we can go to the Object menu, Animation, Insert Keyframe. When we do that, we will see a menu where we can choose which properties we want to generate the keyframe for. If I want to make an animation where the cube just moves, I have to create a location type keyframe. If I want an animation with it rotating, I have to create a rotation type keyframe. If I want to create an animation where it changes size, I will create a scale keyframe. In this case, I'm going to make an animation where the cube moves and rotates. And for this, I will create a keyframe of the lock hot type, which will simultaneously generate position and rotation keyframes. When we do this and have the object selected in the 3D view, we can see here in the timeline this diamond in the frame where this blue line is. This diamond is exactly the keyframe we just generated. And that blue line is the playhead. When we move the playhead, we define in which frame the animation is in. Now that I created the first animation keyframe in frame 1, I will click and drag to position the playhead in another frame. It could be here in frame 100, for example. Now, I will activate the transform tool here in the toolbar, and I will move and rotate the cube a bit. And, for Blender to generate a keyframe and save these transformations in this frame, I will generate a new keyframe for the object. We have seen that we can do this by going to the Object menu, Animation, Insert Keyframe. But, we can also open this menu to insert keyframes by simply pressing the I key on the keyboard. And here, I will once again click on the Lock Hot option. If we look at the timeline now, we will see that a new keyframe was created exactly in the frame where we left the playhead. And, if I press this button to return the playhead to the beginning, and hit the play button, we can see the animation working. 
In the next lesson, we will go a little deeper in the keyframe creation process and will create the animation for the airplane project.